see, the problem that I have with the Xbox One right now, and, you know, I, did, I know a lot of people say, well, the PS4 kind of has this issue as well, but I feel as though it is a big, fat problem with the Xbox One. Um, I have nothing to say about the Wii U. It's not because I hate it. It's because of the fact that they actually have legitimate exclusives, and, those, and that exclusive content is actually stuff people want to buy. Unfortunately, um, if you were to get a game like Persona 4 or whatnot on the Xbox One, odds are it, nobody would buy it. At least the hardcore Xbox One fanboys would not buy it. Uh, they would just stick to their Halo and Gears of War. And I feel as though Japanese developers, you know, not that are, you know, now I'm not talking about all, but some. I feel as though some are literally avoiding the Xbox One only because of the fact that the console is considered a dude bro machine. And I'm going to mention something that I feel is very important and, you know, it needs to be brought up. And uh, this game was a launch title. What you're seeing here is Crimson Dragon. It was a launch title. And as a launch title, you know, generally launch titles are there to sell the system. Fortunately, it kind of became a game that, you know, was more of an afterthought. You know, nobody really cared enough to just buy it. Like, it was not the game people bought as soon as they, you know, got the Xbox One. Believe it or not, the first games they probably bought was Rise, Son of Rome, and Titanfall. You know, not, you know, this game. You know, that, that you know, that it, what would they rather have, you know? have a game that, you know, has, you know, more con- like, because <laughs> the dude bro mentality is just strong with the Xbox One, okay? This game, in my personal opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree, is that it, it, it was essentially an afterthought. Nobody really thought about this game or really cared enough to just go out and rush out and buy an Xbox One for this game. Nobody really did. You know, it was either for Titanfall, Rise, Son of Rome, or Dead Rising 3. You know, it was for those big three AAA games that, you know, oh, freaking, uh, freaking yeah, yeah. graphics, 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 gun models, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, zombies. You know, it was stuff like that. People were, like, hankering for that on the Xbox One. And then you see this game, and then it's like... Okay, <laughs> no, it's like nobody cared about it, and you get somebody now who, who is just now who who's coming from the Xbox 360 and they're moving on to the Xbox One. Guess what? They're not even gonna know this game existed. You know, if they bought an Xbox One just now, they just they're they're, they're an Xbox fanboy and they just got done with the 360 and they're moving on to the Xbox One. They won't even know that this game existed. They won't even know. They, they won't even know that this game ever existed on the Xbox One. They, they, they probably would have bought a bunch of multi-plats and then Rise, Son of Rome, Dead Rising 3, Titanfall, and this game would have just been completely overlooked or just, you know, you know, an afterthought. You know, just like, oh, do I really want to buy this or can I, should I just, you know, buy something else? And, and it's kind of what it kind of became, you know. Or in the Blind Forest. In all honesty, yes, I know that game had a lot of, you know, you know, press coverage and whatnot. It had a lot of coverage, you know, before its launch. But, you know, how many people actually bought it? You know, I, I'm sure a lot of people bought it. You know, there, there's a lot of... It looks good. It's a good-looking game. But how many people actually bought it? I don't know. And it, it, if you get somebody now who's coming from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One, you know, what are the odds of them actually playing it or buying it? You know, their, their, their big thing right now is probably The Witcher 3 and Batman Arkham, uh, Arkham, uh, what is it, Arkham Knight. And then Halo 5 Guardians. It's not more in the blind forest. You know, they, they, that, that, that's the dude bro mentality. You know, that, that all people want is just the hardcore dude bro games. And, you know, apparently anything other than that is, you know, not fit for the Xbox One, you know. <sighs> I, I don't know. See you guys later.